Hello and welcome back to yet another video. Maybe I should not hit that. Today, I'm gonna tell you how you can stream on YouTube with your RC505. This video is part of my... P -p -p I need such a... This video is part of my... Ha, that's better. But it looks weird. It really makes a difference though. This video is part of my FAQ series on the RC505. Is it a frequently asked question if the question is always asked by the same person? Well, definitely in my standards, so this is an FAQ here. Even though it won't be hardcore RC505 stuff, most of the stuff is more like general how to stream on YouTube. I will do this in two parts. At first, I'm gonna show you the easy way how you can stream on YouTube without much effort. And then I'm going to show you how I do it. Because part of the question was, what is your setup? So I'm going to show you my setup, knowing that you don't need most of that if you just want to stream. All of that you shall see in this video. Let's get to it. First thing you need, obviously, your RC505. Then you plug in the power and set up your loop station as you would usually set it up. So for me, that is connecting my microphone, connecting other instruments such as my keyboard that I just connect with a guitar cable. Then you probably want to connect your headphones. And then comes the most important part for this thing. You need to connect your loop station with your computer. Now there are many ways how to do this. The easiest, and that's also how I do it, is definitely by using the USB. For that, you need a USB type B to USB type A cable. Now that doesn't come with your loop station, so you might need to either get one or see if your scanner or printer has such a cable because it's usually used for scanners or printers. I mean, that's where I nicked the cable from. It's a Wi-Fi printer anyway, it doesn't need that cable. And then you plug in the cable in the loop station and on the other side into your computer. Easy as that. Then you need to make sure that you have the, what is it called, USB mode. Then you need to make sure that the USB mode is set to audio slash MIDI. If it's set to storage in the beginning, it might have connected with your computer already and you'll have to press exit and write to close this connection such that you can change the settings. Once you did that and you have it connected with your computer, in like 98% of the cases, your computer will just register your loop station as an external audio device. If it doesn't, you might need to install some drivers, but depending on your system, this can be very different. So this uh, is out of the scope of this video. I don't expect that you'll have any problems with that. For me on Windows 10, it just recognizes it as an input and an output device, no problem. And that is how you connect the RC505 to your computer. Now you could do stuff like Record. Just download any audio software such as Audacity and start recording your input by selecting the correct input device. Yeah. And that's how you record from the loop station. That would have been a separate video if I would have made that separate video. But now let's continue with how do we now stream to YouTube. All right. So you want to go to YouTube, obviously. Just open it in the browser and then go up here to create and then go to go live. You will be redirected to the YouTube studio and here you have several options. Now if you're not automatically redirected to this page, make sure to click on webcam. That's the easy way of doing it. So select the webcam tab on the left and then you will be prompted to give camera and microphone access to the browser. Now depending on your browser, this might look different. In Firefox, it looks like this that you can select which camera you want to use and more importantly, which microphone you want to use. Now here you definitely want to select the in from the RC505. And then we say, yes, you are allowed to use those. And then we can give our stream a name. Of course, if you want people to be able to watch it, you can change it to unlisted or even public. I don't want to put that public because I don't think that it's going to be any good. Not so much that is important in here. Just, you know, just making sure again that you are using the correct 
input devices here you want to select the in from the rc505 and then you click next you'll be prompt to smile for the camera because uh yeah that's my smile because you need a thumbnail you can of course set the thumbnail manually but let's do that and then the only thing that's left to do is click go live and within seconds you will be live on YouTube. Whoa. Now, I really like to have a camera setup where you see me as well as my loop station. And uh, just to demonstrate that I can loop, I can be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's how you stream on YouTube with your RC505. The easy way. Now there is a more complex way. I don't know where I should look, here or here. I, I just, anyhow, I'm just gonna end this stream again, then I don't have this problem. Bye-bye! Okay. Uh, again, my browser's dying. Th this is so weird. Maybe it's the screen recording that is killing it. A thing that I forgot to mention, if you make it unlisted and you want to share it, or in general, if you want to share it, use this share icon up here. And with that link, people will be able to watch your stream. This is the easy way, but you might want to go a bit more professional. So there are ways to go a bit more professional than filming with your webcam, a quick little stream. Let's ignore that for a second. Now what we are going to do, we're going to click on the stream tab on the left and then we will be prompted to create a new stream. And that is very handy if you want to, you know, plan that you do a stream like in an hour or so. If you want to schedule a stream, then you get this nice countdown. So you can either copy it from an already existing live stream or if you haven't done any, you can create a new one. And then it's basically the same. You give it a name and uh, you say whether or not it should be public and uh, you, you say which type it is, if you're partnered, whether or not you want to monetize it. And then you can say, I'm going to schedule it for like, let's say I want to start in 15 minutes or something. And then I just say, create this stream. Then I get to this nice control room of the YouTube streaming platform. And there are a few things that we can see here. Later on, when we will be live, we are going to see how many people are watching us, how many people liked us. If we made money with the chat, you, we can see the chat on the right. Here, there will be our video here. There will be analytics and so on and so on. Maybe one thing that I should mention here the stream latency. I really prefer to go with the ultra low latency because it just decreases the time until the people actually see the stream. And if you wanna do user interaction, that's really helpful. And I do wanna do that. I mean, my show is based upon user interaction. So I definitely use the ultra low latency mode. If you want the best video quality, so if you're just streaming like a movie that you shot or something that is completely done and you just want to stream it in the best possible quality, then use normal latency. But for, you know, real-time stuff, the lower the better, as with bass. Anyhow, um, okay, cool. What else do we see here? We see two URLs. Those are the URLs of the streaming servers. And those are the servers you want to connect to to send your video data. There are usually two, one, and the backup, because we all know that backups are important, right? We do know, you should know that if you watch my videos. And then there is a key, which I'm not gonna show you right now, but basically it's just a few letters and a few numbers. A few, though, such that it's safe. And then you need to authenticate against the server, such that the server knows that it's you. 
Okay, now how do we do that? How do we get that video to that YouTube server? There are again many possibilities. The one that I'm going for is a free software called OBS Studio. Now, I just opened the OBS Studio and this is what I see because I've already been using it. Blank canvas, that's the one we have in the beginning. Now with this program, you can define what you want to stream to YouTube. And there are many possibilities. You can make like screen captures and you can include a browser and you can do text and you can, there are many possibilities. You can just have a look at all of them. But the most important thing when we stream with the RC505 is of course to take the RC505 as an audio input. Again, just selecting the input device, that's all you need to do. And boom, here we are. You can already see that the RC505 is active and this audio would be already streamed out if we started to stream now. But it's quite boring to have a black canvas, so let's add some video maybe. All right, and now we have a camera here. Now, same thing as before, if we were to just start streaming now, we'd have pretty much the same setup, but we go with a streaming software. So we can already start streaming. Let's check the settings. Now here you can select YouTube and put your stream key here. You just copy that from the studio and put it in here and then you're good because the program already knows where YouTube server are. You can of course do it with a custom URL and paste the YouTube server in here. Okay. And then we can start streaming. And what's going to happen that in our YouTube studio, we will see what is coming in from our streaming software. It will of course have a delay. So if I wave in the camera now, then uh, it's gonna take a while until that actually shows up there but I guess the delay is all right. Now we're still not live yet. We're just streaming from our computer to the YouTube server, but to go live, we still need to hit that button to actually go live. But then it's the exact same thing. Boom, we're going live and uh, now we are live and we can use this button to share this link with all our friends. Yeah. And then when we're done, we just end the stream again. What an interesting stream, ladies and gentlemen. What an interesting stream. And, and that's how you stream on YouTube. There was the next step in making it more professional, but we didn't gain much yet because obviously we didn't take advantage of the streaming software because here we can do a lot more and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do today to make my stream more interesting. What I do want to try today is have this camera as my main camera, much like you're looking at me now, and then have a second camera, this one, hello, hello, to just record my loop station and the keyboard maybe. Another thing that I learned that is quite nice is adding the live chat into my video. You can do that by adding a browser and then you just need to paste in the URL of the chat and you might wanna change the width and height like that. And then I want it on this side of the screen. Boom, there we go. Now we have the live chat here. Then we of course need another camera. I mean, that looks good to me, but the camera doesn't like it. So there's no problem on, on that side. There's a problem on that side. Here it doesn't stick. Yes, as I was suspecting, this thing is magnetic. Sweet. So this is such a strong magnet, this will not fall. Now I just need to put the magnet on the other side and hope that the magnet stays stuck to that thing. That looks good already. I mean, it's staying there for a bit without falling. <laughs> I like it. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. 
Okay. No, oh, no, we're not getting there. You know what? You duct tape. I want you to stay there and you are going to stay there. All right. There we go. Safe. Looking down. Hello. Let's do some magic here. First of all, I want my webcam to be above the secondary cam. Hello. That's where I'm, I'm going to stand here. This thing, I want it here with the keyboard. Okay, I have the keyboard, I have the loop station. And uh, I have one empty spot. What could I possibly fit there? <laughs> Maybe, if I'm super stupid. <laughs> All right. Okay. And with that you can be really creative. You can put several cameras and text and uh, a timer for uh, when your show starts or how long your show lasts or, or something like that. And uh, you can stream all of that. Of course also multiple audio devices. Your RC505 doesn't need to be the only one. And uh, yeah. Uh, there the creativity you can also include videos and I mean you saw that's quite powerful so give it a try if you want and uh, I wish you very good luck with streaming on YouTube with your RC505 or without if you don't have any can get one <laughs> use my affiliate link if I have one I hope that this video was helpful I hope that you now manage to stream on YouTube. If there are any open questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Oh, but before that, I'm gonna see you at my live show, which starts in two hours. So, I gotta go. And you, go make a backup and stream on YouTube. Good night. Good night.